Hey guys, what is up? And, uh, well, if you didn't see my last video, I guess the first thing to mention would be Happy Easter. Uh, Easter is over in some parts of the world, but where I live, Easter is still going strong. And, uh, I didn't really do anything that interesting for Easter. I did watch some college basketball. Uh, I watched the Louisville and, um, what's it called? Louisville and Duke game. I watched that game. And I also watched, uh, Michigan and Florida. Yeah, that was it. Sorry, I have such a bad memory. I'm just kind of slightly retarded. But uh, anyway, I am back to RuneScape uh, after a good day of college basketball and some good food and all. And uh, what I'm going to be doing today is showing you guys something really cool. What just reset today is god statues, and uh, not a whole lot of people do these. I'm not really sure why, because it's really worth it. It takes hardly any time at all, and you get a lot of XP. Okay, so I am a fairly high construction level. I'm 96, and how much construction XP you'll get from this really depends on your level. And you can also gain some either prayer or slayer XP. Um, at about 90 construction, it is... I think 90 was the last time I did this. I was 90 construction, and I got 100k XP from all four statues. And now at 96 construction, I'm getting about 30k XP a statue. So I'm getting around 120k total XP a statue. So it looks like the XP goes up pretty fast. But anyway, there's four locations for this. Uh, basically what you just want to do, there's one lumbridge, and you just want to go over to this rough stone block. This isn't a guide or anything, it's more just telling you guys how to do this. I mean, if you really want to know the exact locations, there's four of them. You can do them once a month. Just Google it or search a guide on YouTube or something. But I pick gain prayer XP because I don't need slayer XP, and plus prayer XP costs money, so I might as well do that one. So um, you just click build scaffolding on it, on it, and it gives you this really easy puzzle. So you have to use up 14 pieces of scaffolding, and the highest it can be is 4. And the lowest it can be is one or two. So I'm just going to quickly, it's kind of just a trial and error thing that you do here. So I'll just put this in and, oh, I got really lucky and got it right on the first try. If you didn't see what I, I did there, just uh, do this activity yourself. The puzzle is really easy to figure out. I mean, you just talk to this little gnome guy. I'm pointing at the screen for some reason. Obviously, no one can see that. But you just talk to this little gnome guy, and he pretty much tells you exactly what to do. Um, anyway... And see, I get a 32k construction XP drop from doing that, and then if I pray at the statue, I get 17k prayer. Or uh, if you chose to get Slayer XP instead of Prayer XP, there will be this, some little dude that pops out and you have to kill him, and I'm assuming he gives you 17k Slayer XP. So uh, I've already done two of the locations, and there was one location that I showed you guys. This is in Taverly, and now I'm teleporting the other location. The other two locations that I already did and I didn't record on video, one is in Lumbridge and one is in Canifis. So... Yeah, those are just some general guidelines. And then the last location is here. But I just really wanted to tell you guys, uh, I know a lot of people know about Troll Invasion uh, that you do every week, and I'm going to be doing that um, probably as soon as I'm done with these god statues. And I'm going to, uh, yeah, do my Troll Invasion and get some nice agility XP from that. If we go to my agility, I'm only 94k off 97 agility because I actually did, just did penguins. It was the first thing I did when I got home. I did penguins, and I turned in my points, and so I'm now 94k off an agility level. And after I do Troll Invasion, that should get me a good, like, 70k or something. So I'll be really close to that agility level, and I will, I'll probably just um, go and get the last little bit of XP tonight for agility. Uh, so that'll be nice. I will get 97 agility today. I'm pretty excited about that. And then, sadly, it's back to engineering. Uh, I don't really mind engineering that much. I kid, but uh, yeah, I do have to go back to that. So uh, anyway, we'll quickly do this one. I probably won't get lucky and finish it on the first try this time, but we'll just see. So for example, he'll say, great work. The second column is perfect. The fourth column is perfect. The last column is perfect. So um, the only things that I need to change are these two columns. I got pretty lucky there. Uh, finish these two real easy, but it's just it's trial and error, and you figure out how to build these statues exactly really fast. Super simple puzzle. You do it once a month, you get some nice XP. So uh, I was trying to convince people in the in the friends chat to uh, go do God statues, but I guess they weren't really listening to me or didn't see my message or or something like that. But anyway, 32k construction there, and we pray at the statue and we get the prayer XP. I don't really need the prayer XP, but uh, hey, it's just nice to turn prayer. Like, look at that. I'm already nearly 14.5 mil prayer. I mean, I've never trained prayer legit. Like, I've never gone and bought dragon bones and used them on an altar after 99 prayer. I'm not exactly sure how I got that much prayer XP, but I do use Bone Crusher on all Slayer tasks, so that does a little bit. And then you get random XP from, like, Squeal of Fortune and from praying at these statues and stuff like that. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching. 
watching this video, and happy Easter to all of you. Go do God statues right now, and also uh, join my friends' chat because, well, right now, it is kind of not a peak time, so that might be why there's not a whole lot of people in here. But uh, I have been seeing a lot more people in my friends' chat, so I want to thank you guys for joining there and talking to me and just hanging out. So, yeah, that's all for this video. Uh, hopefully I gave you a little tip here, and yeah, farewell.